Uh, guys, here is the MSO2 Light of Freedom or Peace. Yes, very G1 truck. Not bad, bit fiddly for me to get into it. Yeah, very clean looking. And now I'm going to put it together, but I'll do it from the front view. So I'm not very good at doing it from the back view. So I'll have to keep my glasses on while I do this. So I shall just pause it. So I shall show you again. Closer up. So if there's a bit of glare, that's off the other TV. It's a bit hard to get in this mode. That's why I'm showing you it now. Very clean. And that there. The boxer it comes in. Think you get with it. Including instructions, which I didn't follow this time. Some extra bits, notes that one needs to be changed. Because my eyes are a bit blue, blue, what? Me seeing glasses, this is what I've got to do. Right, so. Disengage that. We'll do the legs flat. Ah, take them off. Lift prime up. Yep. So we'll do the legs first. So Straighten them out, the toes, yep, as you can see the wheels are there, probably seen other people do this, so that's back in. What else? Death. Uh, yeah, legs flips. Put Prime's butt back up first. It's getting in the way at the minute. Uh, ah. Twist his legs down like that. <coughs> Sorry if I'm taking a bit of time. Not used to doing masterpiece transformers. So there. Now to the legs. All flippity floppity. I'd figure out how to do this. So let's see. Pull, pull that out on a slider. Very stiff. Fold it in, and it goes and into the back of the leg there. So we're going to be filling this leg soon. Squeeze it in. Yep. Turn his butt around. Pull that down. So. Sorry, I'm not doing it sort of. Both and like, but let's get his. Ah, uh, yeah, push that up. And just line the panels up. Uh, took me a while to get behind it. 
So what I'm going to transform it in, what you call it. So get that fed in there. And I'm going to show you all that into there. Again, you can excuse me because I'm not very familiar with trans masterpiece transformers, as you can see. Ah. We'll fold that, that part there first, get that folded. That's a bit stiff. That accordion in. <laughs> you can... Down into the light so I can see what I'm doing. Don't want to break it because it's. Oh, that's why it's. Uh, so I can get on. So you've got the leg. Try and fix it so it's. Uh, yeah, so that's the leg like that. It seems to be not wanting to play. Ah, yeah, it's gone in. And use the gas can like that to lock everything in place. And the feet like that. And twist. Get the whole foot like that. Compress that in. There you are, one foot. And position it back there. So you do the same in reverse. So twist that around. You've already seen me do the other one. So. Right, inside there, some clearance, hold down, ah, unclip that from here, so squeeze that back in there, yep, yeah. comes up my slider, squeeze it back in there, Pull the leg out, get this to go like that, yeah, get his foot already, I'll sort that out in a minute. Sorry if this is taking longer but I'm not familiar with these transformers. So close them there. It's just that like I called in everything in. Ah, the foot. So connecting it there. There'll be people better than me doing this. So just squeeze them ah, so just squeeze them in. To lock it all up, the gas canister locks feet like that. 
So you go, what is the legs doing? No, back. Well, they were supposed to go there, but I like to have them in that position. I'll keep that broken. So detach that. Pack, pack. So pull his arms out. Get some clearance. Get that lid. Yeah, check that off. Pull that back in. Leave it out for now. Ah, right. So now that we've got the arm sorted like that, we're going to get everything positioned like so. Open our windows there. Try and do it. It's a force to untap that. And it does come out. Uh, move them down like that. Get some clearance. Uh, oh, yeah, they do it. So move them down like that. Right, so those fold in there. Oh, fold there twice there. So I can do it. Fold there twice, and then ah, uh, right. Let me show you that bit there. So it's like inside there now. So like all accordion. Lift that up. Oops, a bit of a mess, I know. Now you can, that bit there. Flip Prime's head up there. We'll sort everything out in a minute. So the matrix chamber. Ah, yep. So, yeah. So like that. You want it like that. Like that. Yep. Yep. The windows. Rough, but try and do it. So it's taken me a long time, but I'm not familiar with the masterpiece there. There, so you've got your windows, and now you're going to push them in. Make sure these are pulled out, so and then you can. Ah, yeah, roll that back. So it's sort of in that position. Uh, yeah. Make sure you do. Sort like that. Oh, right, yeah. You want to do uh, just got to push it all up. And 
Oh, don't forget about that piece. There, on the back. Oh yeah, just do that. And then accordion, that in. Ooh, that little slot there. like that so the accordion and then again excuse me for Many will probably laugh and say, oh, we could do it quicker. But for me, I like to take my time because I don't know much about Masterpiece Transformers. So that out of there for the arm. Roll that back up. That little piece. There. Right. So if my arms are in the way, I'm doing this on camera. So that little piece there. So, and then, then like that, and you need to collapse it down onto the end, yeah, just like that. Same, so pull that down like that. It's not annoying, just. For me, it's hard with these transformers. I'm not used to them. <laughs> now he'll be saying you can do it quicker, but that's you. I do it at a slower rate. So that fold in like that. Turn that up. Cord in like that. Let's see if we can get it. And in, yeah. So now we've got that. Yeah. Let's sort these all under that. Or antenna, whatever they're supposed to be. So, so that's Optimus Prime's head. So now the arms, pull them down, see that joint there, butterfly joint, push it back in, and so, that's that. Now, look at the backpack on Optimus, very clean, very clean legs. Side profile looks good. I mean, yeah, there seems to be a bit of gapage at the back, but that can't be helped. On the front. Yep. Ah, right. It's noticed. Yep. Needs to be that way around. That's where I've gone wrong. Yeah. So you want the think you want the screws at the back. Yeah. That's the reason why. Uh, I've done this wrong again, I think. See you. No. Let's see what I'm looking at here. Yeah. 
Ah, right. The screws at the back, put them inward. Inward. So then that facing front. Because now you notice when you do that double jointed elbow, which is really on that side. Yep, an elbow joint. That's what you want. That's what I figured out. So I can do that and that. that. Articular arms. Yep. Sorry if my hands are in the way. Ed can. Oh. Right. Can do that. Yep. And there's that extra joint inside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big karate kick. I'm going to go into all articulation. Oh yeah, that's still showing. So easy way to do that. Push it forward. Voila. So if my hands are in the way again, guys, just not familiar with Just pop it through that side. And something more inside there. Oh, sorry. Yep. The matrix of leadership. Now that looks good, don't it? Ah, right. Closed. Right. I think that, yeah, that's right. Oh, I was looking at. <laughs> nice up sculpt. Gas can that way, yeah. I mean, what more could you want from an Optimus? A very clean indeed. Lots of articulation. Ratchet joints. Trying to do it. Ugh. Yep. Karate splits. <laughs> yeah. You can even do that. I don't want Optimus to do that. But there you go. That's my review of the Masterpiece Optimus Prime Light of Freedom Light of Peace MSO2. Ah, oh, look at that face. Prime looks good. Very clean indeed. And if you've got, got it, let me. Know what you say?
Well, I can see it's brilliant. It'll take me a while to get the hang of transforming this. Sorry, guys, it took longer, but I hope you enjoy, and I will catch you all later. Bye for now.